I should calm down. And then I'm overthinking. It might be crazy because we're going to the zoo on a Saturday, which is the busiest day. I might regret this decision, but we haven't been forever and we've had our pass. So we're gonna do it. I don't carry a diaper bag anymore, so it's actually like a new thing now for me to pack stuff. It used to be second nature, but now that I don't have babies, I don't have like a pre-packed bag anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna do band-aids because you know who always needs them when we're out. Tissue, hand sanitizer. I'm like, what else do we bring? A bunch of snacks. What, baby? I know, it's like I have babies again. It's like I packed a diaper bag. Like, what is this life? It's like, it's like we're going on vacation. You're like, oh, you have to go I know, I just wanna make sure we're not too hungry at the zoo. And zoo snacks are so overpriced. I'm not trying to spend any money on that. Found this old backpack. <laughs> I'm just gonna reuse this. There's tons of snacks, fruit, all the things. Are you jazz, Kai? I feel like it's been forever since we've made it to the zoo. It doesn't look terribly insane. So I think my strategy oh, of coming- it looks terribly insane. It does look terribly insane? Look. Okay, maybe he's right. Maybe I'm being a little bit too- There are like <laughs> thousands of cars. <laughs> Maddox is like, be so for real right now. Okay, it is a little insane, but we'll be fine. Look at this one. He's walking. Look at him. Good. Kai, there's a bunch over here. Look. Did we not? Yeah. Yeah. There's babies. They really in like there. this weather. I feel like I've never seen them out this much before. Oh, come, on. come on. Maybe they're a little overwhelmed. Oh mm. You like it better than Sprite? I wouldn't say better, better. than Sprite. But it's not bad. It is not bad. <laughs> I like that it's zero sugar. I'm we are in Africa. I'm the mad helper. Who knew getting to Africa could be so easy? No so, passports required? We are about to be in Africa. No like Kyla wanted to. Those of us who are a little afraid of heights. Oh my, I definitely would not want to. Like, there yeah. will be that, that there will just be like a bunch of animals. Can you feel the love? Wait, no, that's not the song they sing. They sing the friend song, right? In Lion King, what's that song they sing? Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh no. We just follow that path. There. We'll just see a bunch of animals. You're really into sharing where we're going, aren't you? What are we gonna see next? That after we see all like these uh, animals, mm -hmm. we'll see a bat ear fox, mm -hmm. a lion. Ooh, I want to see lion. Where is it? Where did it go? Oh, there right it is. Oh my. Yeah. I was looking at it. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, boys. Oh. What is wrong with my tooth? A human skull. Good. This person's tooth was missing, I guess. Wait, this is real? Oh, I, I mean, no, I hope, oh my. No, it's not real. It's definitely, that would, wow, that would be creepy. This is a replica, this is not a real. It'd be creepy if they had like a real human skull. Definitely not real. Okay. Why do they have a pelvis in here? Just to show. The femur. That's your leg right, this part of your leg right here is your femur. Part of your leg, yeah. that from to your knee, that's your femur. So this is control. Yeah. <laughs> this is control. This is touch. Yeah, it's a very important part of your leg. Uh, Hello. Oh, Come on. No. It's been a good day. Come on. Come on. Consume two tires. Ew. Ew. Love it, but I, I snakes are not for me. Oh my god. It's so cute. They're all so cute. Oh my god. Look at that cutie bit too. You think it's cute? Yeah. Oh my, what kind of snake is this? A blood? A blood python. Wow. Oh, happy day. When Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, 
When Jesus washed, when Jesus washed. What am I doing? I have no idea. Hello everyone, welcome to another day in my boring life. <laughs> um, hi. Happy whatever day it is today. So I just finished another coaching session with one of you guys and you guys, these coaching sessions, I say this every time, but they give me life. They give me life. And I'm so grateful to be able to chat with you guys and share. So if you've not booked a session with me, now is your time to do that. These coaching sessions are everything from content to life. My little coaching friends, some of them are all about content. So we will get on, we will talk about content, we talk about goals. And other of my clients, we talk about life, we talk about life goals, we talk about how to survive life, how to get through it. Um, yeah, they're, they're amazing. I get so much out of them. As much as I like to feed and encourage and do all the things for you guys, I also get a lot out of it. So if you are interested in booking a coaching session with me, a one-on-one -on -one session, head to the link in the description box. I offer 30 minute sessions. Once you do a 30 minute session, if you're like, I actually would like more, I want more time, I wanna talk with you more, um, I also do offer hour sessions. I don't leave the link for the hour sessions in the description box, that's kind of more on um, an email base. So if you've had a session with me, a 30 minute session, and you're like, I want more, um, go ahead and head to my email that I will link in the description box. Shoot me an email and say, hey Britt, I would love to do an hour session with you, and I will set that up. My amazing boyfriend just, <laughs> texted me to remind me to eat lunch. He's so sweet because sometimes I get so busy doing things that I just kind of lose track of time and I forget. So I'm gonna eat some of this leftover pasta that I made for the boys for their lunch today. I'm gonna eat some of this. Is anyone else like this? I am so into what bowl I use. Like I have a thing for bowls. I feel like my addiction to mugs went from that to little bowls. I just like having the little options. Like, do I want the gray bowl today? I think I'm feeling this one. Like, this feels like the food will be extra good if I use this. This is very important, and it has to be the right bowl feng shui. Am I saying that right? Bowl? Do I say bowl weird? Bowl. 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 <laughs> okay, anyway. I am so random for this right now, but... I've been telling you guys I was gonna share why I stopped drinking and I just haven't done that. So now's the time. I'm gonna just stand here awkwardly and eat my pasta and tell you guys. So, what happened was, <laughs> so I've always been someone who enjoys a cocktail or enjoys wine. I can hold my alcohol very Okay, we are swimming indoors today because it's too cold to swim outside. Maddox, are you jazzed about that? Oh, I should not be vlogging. There's no one else in here, but I don't want them to be like, why is she vlogging in the dressing room? Let me get out of here. Tell me why I thought this place had complimentary towels, but they didn't, and we didn't bring towels, and they found these random tiny towels that we had to use. Oh, such a mom fail. Headshots for Audrey. First. Oh, I love that. Now give me like a little snooty look. So you're looking this way and then you're looking at the corner of your right knee. We we're crushing you're it. You're the best. No, Whoa. she was crushing it. She was doing all the work out there. I love it. I, her, just, have to, I just have to push the button. Her <laughs> modeling awesome career is all thanks to you. Because I'm always going to be a big fan of educational activity, I took the kids this weekend to the National World War I Museum and Memorial. Um, that's a mouthful to say. Anyway, we ended up seeing this exhibit they have called The Little War. And it's exhibit all about how kids handled the World War One. It's from like a child's perspective of World War One. They had to code. Oh, because they had to speak in special code so that they, what they were saying wouldn't be picked up by the enemies. Here, turn it the other way. Directions. I love that this exhibit was really interactive. It was made for adults and kids, so they had like a scavenger hunt to kind of help kids figure things out. And then after we went up to the actual memorial, it was very, very, very windy, very high up, but it was super cool to see the whole city from up there. This was the first time we've been. We've lived in Kansas City all these years, and I've just never been up here before with the kids. It was super fun. Thank you. We'll get some good pictures. I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> the wind is no joke. Maddox is a little scared of heights. Like, very scared of heights in my life. It's okay, bud. Do you want to go see again? You feel braver? You want to walk around more? So 
I wanted to update everyone about the trip. First of all, shout out to all of you who registered and signed up for it. I So we didn't actually get enough to do a full trip, but that is okay because we're gonna shelf the idea for now and circle back to it later. But what I'm thinking of doing instead is for those of you who wanted to go on a trip, maybe we plan like a meetup this summer instead, like at a designated location. And I could do a little work to figure out a hotel and possibly get everyone discounts and all that. So maybe we still plan something fun and plan a meetup because I really do want to still adventure and have fun with you guys. And those of you who are interested in doing that, I think we should still do it. Um, but yeah, we will revisit the trip at a later time. So in other news, I need to update you guys about Luca. So you guys know, those of you who've been here a long time know that I got Lila seven years ago. Lila's my great cat, my first cat. Got Lila seven years ago um, when I was just going through a really hard time and I just wanted a pet, but I wanted a pet that was easy. And I was actually allergic to cats at the time, but I grew an immunity to Lila. So anyway, I got Lila and then in 2020, I got Luca during quarantine and he got him as a kitten. So anyway, I don't know why I'm starting this story so long ago. Long story short, when we were about to move to this house, Luca was not a fan. He didn't want to move here. He's always been a cat that like, once he discovered outside, really liked being outside more than being inside. Like he spent most of his time outside. Um, and then he would just come in to sleep a lot at night. So anyway, long story short, when we moved here, I it was a struggle trying to get him from the old house to this house. I got him here and then like both of my cats are indoor outdoor so they go out and then they come back so like luca got out and i noticed that he didn't come back and so i was like where is he and so i was looking around our neighborhood and i noticed that he was on the steps of an apartment down the street and when i tried to get him back tell me why this cat acted like he didn't know me he literally abandoned us so i am surrendering it because we've gone over twice now to try to get him back and he like wants to live with whoever he's living with also this cat is so fat now like he is eating very well and that probably is part of it too not that i wasn't feeding him but i like fed him normal food and like a normal amount he is massive so i don't know if he's living at multiple homes and getting multiple meals a day but homeboy isn't a fan of us and i'm like you know what luca We've journeyed together and you know, it's fine. But at the end of the day, I think the reason why I'm, I'm fine with leaving him is A, he doesn't wanna come back. Like I've tried to get him. I've literally tried to grab him and he'll like run away. And the second thing is like, I know he's being taken care of. Like his coat looks healthy. He doesn't look like he's like out and about. Like we see him, we literally will see him over there and he like lives with someone else. So that's the update. We only have one cat now and I kinda wanna get another one. <laughs> I don't want to get another kitten since Luca decided to abandon us and live with someone else, which really did hurt my feelings working through it. But I'm like, wow, how rude. <laughs>